This one is a little tricky, right? Because we got to consider the powers on this thing. But let's get everything on one side of the equal sign first. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 4 from both sides. And that would give me x minus the square root of 2x minus 4, and this equals 0 now. All right. <clears throat> Well, let's, let's break up that middle term just so we can see the difference between these two. We got x minus the square root of 2 times the square root of x. Of course, that's minus 4. This should equal 0, right? But really, I, I just want to see the exponent of the square root of x. So I'm going to make this x to the power of 1 half. We see how this x is to the power of 1 right there? So now I have that leading term. Its x is, has a power that's twice the power of the middle exponent, which is uh, 1 half right there. So what this means is we can make this, or, or force it to look like a quadratic by saying that u equals x to the power of 1 half. And we do want it always to equal the u, to always equal half, I'm sorry, the exponent is half. I'm, let, let me start that over. The, the term needs to be the one that has the exponent that's half of the other one. So, for example, yeah, or the first one, right? Or half the first one. This one's one, so I'm not using that one because it's the bigger exponent. I want the one that's half of that one. Because one half x one. Now, the reason for that is because... When I double this exponent, it's going to give me a power of 2 for my leading term. Which is going, that's what is going to make it a quadratic. Yeah, let's see what this looks like. So our first term, uh, that was u. Now since that's x to the power of 1, and u is x to the power of 1 half, that would be u squared, right? So another way we can look at this is to say that if I doubled that, just the exponent is what I'm talking about. So I would have x to the power of 1 half, which is squared, which makes u squared equal to an x. All right, so just going back to that, we right here, this is what we chose u to be. u is x to the power of 1 half. That's what we had. So, yeah, at this point, we squared both of those. I squared the u, which is where this u squared came from. Yeah, no, I, I squared it because one of this other term here in this original equation was x to the power of 1. Right here, I've got x to the power of 1 half. So I multiplied it by the denominator of that exponent, which is 2, so that when I multiply these two together, it really gives me, it give me an exponent of 1 for x right here. So I square the u, I square the x to the power of 1 half, which we showed right here in green. And then just because I ran out of space, I wrote it up here. So u squared actually is x. So then I went down here and I said, well, x right here, or x to the power of 1, I replaced with u squared. And yeah, this goes back to forcing it to be a quadratic, which is going to allow me to really solve this thing. Now, well, now we don't we don't need, don't forget about that square root of two though, right? I'm I'm subtracting the square root of two, but now I'm replacing this x to the power of one half with u. So so you were right there, and of course we're still subtracting four, making this equal to zero. All right, so hopefully you guys understand. I'm 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 using that quadratic formula because of this square root of 2 stuff. I mean, even if I tried to factor this 4 out and said, well, what two factors of negative 4 add up to the negative square root of 2? I don't know. All right, it's a square root of 2, which is in, uh, what the heck am I thinking of there? Uh, an irrational number, that's better. So I am going to use the quadratic formula on this. So let's go ahead and write that out. All right. Let's go ahead and replace these values with the values that we have. B 
we can see is a negative square root of 2. So I need to replace this b also. So it's not 2u. All right, so this is what we got, right? Um, and, yeah, we can change that negative, negative square root of 2 to a positive square root of 2. And if I look right here, if I square that negative square root of 2, I'm going to end up with 2 there, so that's not a, a problem. And I've got minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 is going to be plus 16, or minus negative 16 if you want. Then in the denominator, we're going to have that 2. All right, well, then in, the, in that square root, I've got 2 plus 16. I'm just going to replace that with 18 now. So I've got 18, square root of 18, rather. And the square root of 18 can be simplified. I'm going to do that work over here. The square root of 18, if I split this up, I can see that I got a perfect square in its factors. So it's really the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, which would be 3 times the square root of 2. So let's go and replace that. All right, well, mm, uh, here in the numerator, we've got the square root of 2 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 2. So I would actually recommend splitting this up into two separate problems, just so we can see what, what we're going to be. Because in this numerator, we've got 1 square root of 2 and then 3 square roots of 2. So let's go and add and subtract those out, okay? So I'm just going to work with the plus, and then we'll look at the minus part of this, all right? So let's go ahead and simplify this. We got u equals, that's a 1 square root of 2 plus 3 square roots of 2 is 4 square root of 2. And this is over 2. So we can simplify the 4 and 2, giving us 2 times the square root of 2, right? So right now, just by the addition part of this, we've got u is 2 times the square root of 2. But what is u? u, if we look back, and we'd have to look back all the way over here. It's actually x to the 1 half, right? So if... Well, isn't u squared? So yeah, I am going to replace this to the power of 1 half with square root, just because that's kind of how we've seen this a little bit more often. So how do we get rid of a square root? We square it. The problem is with an equation like this, if I square one side, I kind of square the other side too. So that leaves me with x equals uh, 2 squared is 4, square root of 2 squared is 2, so 4 times 2 is 8. And that right there would be one of our answers. Alright, let's, uh, let's look at the minus side of that thing. So we remember that u is the square root of 2, but now minus... 3 times the square root of 2 all over 2. So that would be a 1 square root of 2. If I take away 3 of them, then I get a negative 2 square root of 2 over 2. And uh, negative 2 over 2 is a negative 1. So I got negative 1 times the square root of 2. We just don't really need the 1 there. If you want to put it there, that's fine. I just don't know if the homework would mark that correct. So looking at it down here, We've got u equals the negative square root of 2, right? So, um, u actually ends up being, just because that's what we started with, right? Was the square root of x, or x to the 1 half. I'm kind of skipping that part right there. And then, uh, to solve this one, we would square both of these. And we find that x equals uh, 2. So that would be the negative square root of 2 squared, which is 2. Well, we got to be careful on these ones because sometimes these answers that we found aren't actually answers. They're just a lot of extra work. Yeah, now, now we're, we're not plugging it back into anything other than what we started with. But we do need to check these, otherwise we're just rolling the dice saying, I don't care if it's right or wrong, I'm tired of working. That is the end of it, which is understandable, just not really on a test, all right? So be very careful on that stuff. So let's start with the 8 and just see what we get, all right? So I'm going to replace a, uh, x rather with 8. So where's my... Oh. 
There we go. So I got 2 times 8, and then I've got 8 minus that garbage. So that would be 8 minus the square root of 16. Needs to equal 4. Again, this is, like, I guess, a more like, like a question mark. And the square root of 16 is 4. And 8 minus 4 is 4. That's true. So right now we know at least that the 8 is a correct answer for this. Let's do the next one then. So in that case, now we will replace x with 2. So I got 2 minus the square root of 2 times 2 is 4. And this should equal 4, right? But now it's 2 minus 2 is 4. And 2 minus 2, as it turns out, is not 4. This is false. Which means that when x is 2, that's no good. So our only answer really is this 8 right here. Right, I mean, there's only one small thing that's making that false, and that's that minus right there. If that were plus, we would have something that's true. So that's where that imaginary stuff comes in. If it was 2 minus 2i squared, it would have been true. But it's not, so it's still false.